about the season from Edgeflex.com. Yes, now we are .com. Quick tips. And this is our quick tips. So guys, before starting to talk, please must like, must share, must comment because I really need your support. Seriously, I need your support. <laughs> Okay, so sometimes we have to connect a lot of nodes to a single node, and this is really painful sometimes. Seriously, I know that pain. So this is a very quick solution for this. Just select all those nodes that you want to connect, like this. Just select all those nodes, and then hit shift, uh, hold shift and select that node uh, that you want to correct from. So, and simply just hit shift Y, and boom, you connected all this. It's really helpful. Okay, so some chance, uh, not some chance, every time I have to move my pivot point. And this is a very quick solution now. Just hit Ctrl Alt and then you can simply change pivot point of any 3D stuff. Yeah, just just place it anywhere you really want. And guys, uh, just hold shift Ctrl to rotate your, your card or and stuff and hold Ctrl Shift to scale up and scale down. Really helpful. Okay, like instead of searching a node in this, just use shortcuts. Yes, everyone use hotkeys. You can use B for blur node, G for grade node, C for color grade node. Like you can use these shortcuts and speed up your work really fast. You can use M for merge node, O for rotor node. These hotkeys really helpful and speed up your work. And uh, guys, I'm also gonna drop a download link in description. You can download <coughs> a file. In that uh, I mentioned like a lot of shortcuts and hotkeys that may help you. Okay, like if you're using <coughs> same node again and again and they have all the same values, then don't use again and again, just put that node in the end, it will work fine. Just delete this all this thing and put it in there. And guys, seriously, it will decrease your render time. And one more tip. Uh, just try to use blur node, grade node, like color grade nodes, and transform. Use try to use together, but if you use uh, use them together, they have a different algorithm, so they will calculate really fast and decrease your render time. Seriously, it helps. Okay, so <coughs> this technique is really helpful. Like if you mess up something, uh, like <coughs> some slider you messed up. And you want to reset that slider, but you don't want to reset this whole file. They're very quick solution. Just hit Control and click on that bar. You can simply reset that specific bar. You you don't have to reset all all those no all that whole node. You can just simply reset that specific bar, and it will work on all all nodes that have bars. Yeah, sort of. Okay, so uh, so this one gonna help you a lot. Sometimes we have to work like in bigger files, like 2K to 4K to 8K. Yeah. Okay, so we we can use proxy to uh, slow uh, load down the resolution, and which is gonna really help you a lot. Yeah, just hit S for setting node, and you can see a proxy node over here. Just make sure it's on scale and hit this small box. And basically, what it's doing is just dropping your resolution. Half or uh, by default it's on 0.5, but you can change that. Uh, you can see right now I'm working 4K, but uh, after uh, on my proxy is dropping my resolution on 1920. Basically, what is uh, what is doing? I'm still working on 4K, but it's just <coughs> lo uh, slow uh, load on my viewer uh, uh, viewer resolution, so we can easily handle our footage and do our editing stuff. Okay, like sometimes we have very weird issues. Uh, uh, it's slowed down our PC, and if your work is uh, hanging a lot, that means you have to clean your catch. So it's going to catch and clean you know, all. It will help you a lot. It will. <coughs> now you can, uh, after cleaning your cache, now you can work properly and it will delete all the all your files. Okay, never work like this. Never ever. Ever in a millionaire, never work like this, never make a workflow like this. Like, if you're in a studio and you work like this, they will kick your ass, seriously. Always make your workflow neat and clean like this. So, by chance, if you're sending your shot to the next artist, he can easily understand what is going on in the shot, and it will also help you a lot to find yourself <coughs> very easily. And it will also help you a lot in your personal growth, also. So, always <coughs> make your workflow. Organize 
organization you know what i mean okay so how to make those color boxes just select all those nodes that you want to be in that box and type backdrop yeah this is the <clears throat> this is that fact and just hit double click and in this setting you can change its color and rename it okay last but not least this is one of the seriously this is one of the most important step always make copies always make new version of your work yes it will really help you a lot or just going to file and in file you can see save compass yeah always hit this and always make new version of your file you can see that like, like i made <coughs> always make you uh, like always make new version of your file so it will really help you for example you done something wrong or your file is crashed in that case you have that backup file so you can work on and seriously guys i've i faced this situation i faced that fucking stuff so always make <coughs> new versions of your file uh yeah so that's it that's uh that's the top 10 quick tips for new for my side and i hope guys it will help you a lot in your life and in your work <laughs> sorry uh it will really help you to speed up your work simply and guys must like must share must comment because these things happen to grow my channel up and i really need your support yeah so peace out <laughs>